My name is Ariana, and on my mission to help make the world a healthier place, I have developed a mini docu-series that is meant to educate the public on how they can help conserve the ocean. We as humans have seen the effects of climate change on land and in the increased severity of natural disasters, record-setting temperatures in the winters and summers, and the decrease in overall air quality around the world. Although the ocean has the ability to absorb enormous amounts of carbon dioxide, the impact of climate change has become increasingly dramatic. The warming of the world's oceans has led to disruptions in fish migration patterns, drowning wetlands and coral reefs, and ocean acidification. I would use my scientific knowledge of marine biology to air videos on YouTube and other social media platforms that would reach audiences of every demographic. Arguably, the most devastating impact that climate change has on the ocean is coral bleaching. Now, you might have some questions like, what is coral bleaching? Coral bleaching is when the algae that lives in coral leaves the coral because the coral gets stressed out. Or, why does it happen? Coral bleaching happens because the algae leaves the coral and this algae has a symbiotic relationship with that coral. So when it leaves, it has a huge impact on the coral. Now, how does coral bleaching happen? Coral bleaching happens most commonly when temperature increase due to climate change stresses out the coral. Now you might ask, how does coral bleaching affect humans? Or how does this apply to me? Well, coral bleaching affects humans because we use coral as a source of pharmaceuticals. Coral is a source of medicines that can help liver disease, cancer, or even heart disease. Coral is also important because it provides a home to many species of fish that provide a huge revenue for the fishing industry. So when the coral dies, that is a huge loss of food supply for humans. Also, coral reefs provide a lot of tourism for the places that they're near. Now, if the coral loses its color, that means it loses its aesthetic that many tourists come to see. And that is also a huge loss of revenue for the economy that it supports. Now you might ask, well, what can I do? Or how can I help? I'll tell you. You can start small by trying not to overset your thermostat. This just reduces your carbon footprint. You can also try to choose sustainable seafood choices at restaurants. This just helps you and the community when it comes to the ocean. You can also try to use fewer plastic products. This, as we know, is a huge problem with animals in the ocean consuming plastic. Further, try to respect the beach and clean up after yourself. Also, don't purchase products from any company that exploits marine life. In addition, do your best to support any organization that helps conserve the ocean. Lastly, do your research because the more you know, the more you can help and teach others. Thank you.